property sharks time for a brain strain and it's the Nissan Navara brain strain our great sponsors Nissan Navara uh, fantastic we're going to do an international brain strain so representing Great Britain we have the great Samuel Burgess yeah. representing Australia the wonderful Gordon Tallis yeah. and a very special uh, person I uh, guess is representing the Kiwis Please welcome, he, he's flown back uh, for the show tonight, all the way back from New Zealand. Please make him welcome the best player in the world, Benji Marshall. Still on bench. <laughs> Great to see you. Yes, sweet as acres. <laughs> How's the training week been, Bench? Good, thank you. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to New Zealand Airways uh, for that and uh, the diamond shop for my beautiful earring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get 10 points for a correct answer, deducted 10 for an incorrect one. You're right to go, everyone? Yeah, yeah. You're right, Bench? <laughs> sweet as a, bro. <laughs> Which member of the current Australian Kangaroos made his test debut against Wales in 2011? Dolly Cherry Evans. Dolly did, Sam. Cherry Evans. Cherry yeah. Evans. Yeah. Good to see you playing in tomorrow night. <laughs> How many matches did England win at the 2008 World Cup? Sucks. <laughs> No, no, I know they suck, but how many do they win? Sucks. Sucks. No. Four. No. Four? Give yourself a rap. One. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Yeah. 32. Yeah. No, I, oh. I, didn't, I didn't play in that world. Oh, we're going to do charades. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, slats. No, no, I missed it. Slats. Slats. You're going to do the charades. You know how to play charades. Yeah, I do. Right? Yeah, I'm yeah. give you a word or a phrase, and then you've got to act it out. Whoever gets it, ten points, and uh, you've got a minute to act this out. What? So there you go. What is it? There's the famous location in New Zealand, is what you've got to act out. All right? And at home, you can see it, boys. Don't look behind you. You keep All facing right. the front. I, I think I can get this. Fatty's got one minute. Away you go. Two words. Two words. <laughs> no. He's... Two syllables. Yeah, yeah. On uh, the track. Tony knows it. One word. No. <laughs> First, well, word. First syllable. You've got to get this. Doggy is broke. Doggy is <laughs> Incorrect. Keep going. It doesn't no, begin no. with an F and end in oh. oh. Getting warm. Getting warm. Thick fuss. <laughs> getting very hot. You've got to press your button, Someone mate. said it before about half an hour ago. You're not allowed to speak. It's from Pakatane. Yes! <laughs> No, two syllables. I was going first good, syllable is that one. There. That's like four syllables. <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, because you're running last, don't yeah. blame me. One of the players in tomorrow's test will celebrate his birthday on Anzac Day. Who is it? I'll give you a hint. One of these turning 29. Good. Um, Cameron Smith. It would be Jonathan Thurston. Ooh. Just cost yourself 10 points. Right. Multiple choice question of the Kiwi team that will take to the field tomorrow night. How many were not born in New Zealand? Five. Oh, six. Sucks. Six. Yeah. Sorry? Sucks. Is correct. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I just want to fill you in. Josh Hoffman, this is the New Zealand team. Josh Hoffman born in Mackay. Kenny Dow born in Brisbane, Frank Pritchard in Sydney, Nightingale in Sydney, Sam McKendry in Western Australia, and Nathan Fien in Mount Isa. That's where they were born. That's, that's fine. Great key. Time for charades. Right. Sorry about that. That's it was a bit of a loud. This time you're acting out a famous piece of Australian slang. Fatty, there's your look. There's a look at home yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet. One minute, Hang on, let's one, go. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, stop talking now. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, on track, on track. Yeah. Throw. Throw. Bottom. Throw a shrimp on the barbie. Yes! Oh, yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> you're good, this, you're good. I, I reckon I, I must be leading yeah, the Yeah, you are I'm very good with the two uh, syllables. Have a look at this picture and tell me <laughs> which is the correct Union flag, also known as a Union Jack. Is it A, B, C or D? 
We haven't, we haven't got a picture. B, B, it's B. B. Correct. Correct. Yeah. 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 No, I thought it was this. No, it, it was D. Like D. Why, why D, you imbecile. Why Tony Chandler's taking points? over. Hey? Why am I only on you've got something wrong. No, I've only got one wrong and three right. Anyway, three. I don't know. It was, was D. It Have a listen to this famous New Zealand music group. Yep. Name the song and the artist. Um, I don't know. Oh, uh, Paul Vorton. <laughs> what? Isn't that your lookalike from before? <laughs> no, no, no. It's one of the great Simply New Zealand Red. Austra really? Simply Red. Why is that? It's not. Uh, it's not One Direction. What? <laughs> This is blasphemy! <laughs> Fush on chops. <laughs> it's, it's, Who was it? Yeah, but it's simply it's some um, <laughs> split ends. Okay. I see red. It's one of the great songs. Okay, I thought it was simply red. It's before we're Big man, you've got question nine I for us. The name of the song. Yes, I have found and this great show is all about preparation, as you know. <laughs> yes. So I've been shifting through the archives all week. And I've seen some vision from the 1999 test match between Australia and New Zealand. Have a look at this. The question is, can you name the two ball boys in this clip? It was on the blind side. That's the way they come. It comes up for Richardson. I think they'll go to the video referee. There they are. There's Richardson one. has certainly forced the ball, but the arm may have gone. There's the other one. Yeah, that's the only the two of them. The wow. There they are. Yeah, who who buzzed in first? I think you did, uh, Benji. Yeah, uh, Sonny Bill you. and uh, his sister. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you five points for Sonny Bill. The other one, current NRL player. Benji Massa. Uh, Steve Massa. Steve Massa. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you got that, Sam. Steve Massa. Well done. Another charade. This time you're acting out a this. specific type <laughs> of animal. It's an animal, fat mate. Go for it, a minute. Yeah, no talking, this. stop talking and act. How many syllables, fat? Ruff. Boxer dog. Boxer dog. Ruff. A dog. Barf. Boxer dog. S some sort of a dog. Stop Hang on. talking. Stop you can only walk. Sheep dog. Sheep dog. Sheep dog. Yes. 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 You'd be old. Yes. 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 I knew you'd get that binge. Uh, this is a who am I buzzing? I mean, you think you know who it is? If you're wrong, you're out. I was born in 1970 in country New South Wales. My middle name is Jonathan. I played my first match for Australia in 1993. I am married, had three children. Been lucky enough to play for the Blues, and I'll always be a New South Wales boy through and through. In the late 90s, I had a short playing stint in the UK. I represented my country a staggering 116 times. I share a, slur a surname with one of the... What? <laughs> Michael Slater is correct! <laughs> yeah. What's... Uh... Well done, mate. Well, okay, there's not much in this. 25, 20, and <laughs> minus 5. Mm. Benji, you've played 25 test matches. 26. Gordy? 26. <laughs> Gordy, 13. Thanks, mate. Good number. And Sammy, you've played 13 as well. You've scored 102, 36, and 28 points, respectively. How many points have you scored combined? Say that again. 102, 36, and 28. 186. 176. What school Six. did you go to? Seriously. Yeah. Uh, 166. 166 is correct. <laughs> but I want him counting my money. And, <laughs> and I'm tipping. Wow. England still wins with 15 yeah. points. Yeah. Well done, boys. Yeah. Thank you, Gordon. Well, Thank you. Well Thank you, Bo. Any you last comments, Bo? Can you show us the hucker, I just want to say quickly before we fly back, uh, James Tamal, we are going to smash your face off. 